Hi guys, and welcome back to part two of the jQuery slideshow uh, video series. Uh, I did the graphic design already. That was part one. Part two is slicing it up and starting the code for it. Um, one thing I'm going to change is layer four, um, if you remember correctly, I had set the screen, but I'm going to change that to overlay to really get the same effect as this one. So um, now that I have all that stuff in place, the next step, I'm actually going to scale the um, the shadow here, so that way I don't have to expand it beyond the div of the slideshow, and that'll make more sense once we start getting into code. Oh. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and scale uniformly, shift alt, as I'm scaling, we'll do that. Okay. So now that looks a little bit better, and I don't have to worry about um, setting it further than uh, than the dimensions that I want for my slideshow. Um, and again, this will make more sense as I go through. So the first thing I'm going to do is shut off the layer here, and I'm going to shut off the black arrow over here. And this will make more sense as I go through. And the last thing I'm going to do is duplicate this blue arrow. So I'm going to duplicate layers, click OK, I'll do edit, transform, and flip horizontally. So now, there we go. It just placed it in there for me the way that I needed it to, and I have the blue arrow on my right side. So I'll shut that layer off, and turn that one back on. So now I have my two black arrows here, and the first thing I'm going to do is create slices for those options. Um, I want to use the same size slice for my black arrows as I do for my blue arrows, so I'm going to turn one back on and make sure I'm grabbing the whole thing. So I'll do this. I'm going to slide it up, and it should snap into place once it hits the top of the layer. There we go. That looks right. So now that I have the size of my slice selected, I'm going to hold down Alt and move it. No, oh, I take that back. I'm just going to have to create another one over here. Alright, and those seem to be lined up pretty good. Just to make sure I'm going to drag out a guide. Yeah, they're both the same. Okay, so now that I have both of my guides in place, um, and both of my slices in place. I'm not going to worry about creating the image because the image and the border I'm going to do in CSS. And the last thing I'm going to do is grab this shadow. And the shadow, you'll notice if I zoom in, it grabs a little bit of the border of the image because it doesn't, Photoshop doesn't recognize the border as being part of the layer. It kind of extends beyond the layer. So what we want to do to avoid grabbing that border is go and shut off our stroke and that gets rid of that and then we can grab that background layer or the shadow so I'm going to shut off the arrow over here whoops no keep that arrow I'm going to shut off the blue one and then hold down control shift alt and s and that'll bring up my safer web another option you can do is file safer web and devices and that'll bring up the same screen um, now, don't mind this, I was just doing a really low, low quality uh, image render. So what we want to do is PNG24 because that gets our best uh, results for gradients and it keeps the transparency. So PNG24 and there is no way of scaling it down so we it, whatever file size uh, comes out is the file size you're going to get but I recommend sticking with these because that gives you uh, the best quality. Oh, and of course my uh, screen is a little bit too big. Um, oh no! no! I'm gonna have to slide it over here. I'm just gonna hit the save button down here but you'll see a little save button on your uh, on your screen. So I am going to go out to my desktop. Actually, I'll just create a new folder in HDDocs. I'm going to call this jQuery underscore slideshow. 
and then go in that and I will save my slices and I'm going to select all the selected slices so if I come back over here well I can't do that but I held down shift and clicked on each of my slices to select all of them and uh, what I should have done before I do this I'll bring this back over is I want to rename these slices so it'll be double click on it this will bring up your slice options left arrow click OK and this one's right arrow and then this one's bottom shadow and click OK and then if I hold down shift and click on all three of my slices I can grab all three of them in one shot and then hit save which my screen resolution is too small it won't allow me to uh, shrink down the screen maybe I can grab this no, it still won't do it. Okay, so I'll just hit save. That'll bring up this window. Oops, I went one too far. htdocs, see jQuery slideshow, and I'm going to save everything in here. Make sure you save as selected slices. Hit save, and then I'll create an images directory, and then turn on your blue arrows and turn off your black arrows and the reason why I'm turning off my black arrows is because I'm going to animate the blue ones and I don't want to touch the black ones and that'll make more sense once I get into uh, the video so where was the other one uh, black arrows over here this one should actually be on top there we go oh well um, now if I were to just go and save this for web again I would need to re uh, it would save over my other images because these still have the same slice uh, names so I'm going to do control shift alt s to bring up my safer web and devices console and then double click on that and do left arrow blue and then do right arrow oops underscore blue click OK hold down shift to select both of them and hit save and I'm, I'm, it's automatically going to put them in that images directory so I'll hit save and if I come back over here go to htdocs find my jQuery slideshow and each of them are named correctly alright now that I have all my images created, I just uh, I saved my PSD file. I'm going to try and package all this up and put it on my website. Um, that's something I haven't done with my past videos, but I also want to uh, recreate my my whole website. And at that point, I'll start loading this stuff onto uh, the new website. Um, but that's a work in progress. That, that's still a ways out. So I'll probably just throw it up there and give you guys a link that you can download from. Um, all right, so I'm going to exit out of Photoshop. Close this right down. No, don't save that. And no, I don't want to save that. I had another one open for a cheat sheet. Um, so I'm going to open Dreamweaver. Uh, those of you who don't have Dreamweaver, you can use Eclipse, which is another uh, PHP development or uh, jQuery developer tool that I use. Um, I use it mostly for PHP when I'm not at home or if I don't have an, uh, a version of Dreamweaver available. Um, so I'm going to create a new HTML file and I'm just going to do a file save really quick and put that into the slideshow page. I'm just going to call it index.html. All right. All right. Now I what I do is I usually have uh, I have it off screen here a cheat sheet for downloading jQuery from Google and that just uses um, a script which you can download from or you the source is http colon forward slash forward slash www.google.com forward slash jsapi and this address still works but I think they're starting to require you to get a developer um, API key so some of you may have to do that but once you have this you should be able to run jQuery no problem so now if I do an alert from in here hello jQuery 
and run this if I save it and come back out to my screen here oh, another slideshow that I was working on and go to jQuery actually I'll just go to localhost find a list of all my things jQuery slideshow and then it loads up um, I'm gonna stop with this uh, this video right now I'm gonna go on to part three which is actually coding and actually getting down to the nitty-gritty of it and showing you guys how to use jQuery to create a pretty simple uh, slideshow so sub uh, be sure to subscribe to uh, all my stuff I'm coming out with some PHP videos too so be sure to st uh, stick around for that and I'll move on to part three right now so go check that out